All right. Uh, it looks like we're going to get a chance to talk to Fez. You want to break first before we do it, Earl, or should we talk to him first? Um, let's let's try to get him now. All right. Let's uh, we'll try to get a hold of Fezzy here. Not yeah. Give him a call. I hope everything's okay. But you know, for people that are holding on to hear from uh, Fez Watley, of course, I don't see how you could have missed it, but he did have a heart attack last Thursday, and uh, spent uh, the entire from Thursday to I believe Sunday night at the hospital. Now he's out and resting on Roosevelt Island. So basically, now he's one of the many people trying to heal on Roosevelt Island. When you go over there, there's always people without you know, their limbs or whatever, trying to get better so they can come back into Manhattan. And Fez is now one of those people. He finally gets to join. Think, have we got a hold of him yet? You got him, Bill? All right, what line's he on? Okay. Hey, Fezzy, how's it going, buddy? Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm okay, man. Uh, did you get all your emails from everybody, all you know, the well wishes? I haven't been able to look at all of them yet, but, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, just tons of them. It's so nice. Uh, you know what? And, uh, people are nice, Ronnie. People are nice. And you know what? I, I had no idea until I started to go through those emails how many people are listening on 202 right now. It just exploded in the last couple months that we've been here. It's very, very cool. And very people nice. saying nice things to you, Fezzy. How are you feeling today? Uh, pretty worn out. You had a rough night last night, right? Yeah, a lot of pain and stuff. Do you know what that has to do with? I thought everything would be taken care of by now. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just, a lot of it may just be, you know, the, the bed rest itself. Right, so that's kind of got you aching and all, and you're not used to those pains. Yeah, just from being in bed so long. Actually, the heart attack is the most physical thing I've done in a while. Yeah, that was really, they said, if it wasn't so bad for your heart, it would be good for your heart. Because... Finally, your heart was beating yeah. after all these years. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't let Harry kill me, Ronnie. No, you... I wouldn't let him do it. You, I, I'm going to tell you right now. Fez, because uh, people are going, I bet Fez um, can't uh, wait to get back in there. If you were here for the five minutes before the show and the five minutes after it started, you would have been having your second heart attack. This kid is on my nerves so much. I won't be back until I'm strong enough to clamp my vice-like fingers around his throat. That's what you've got to work for. You have to have goals. I, you know, just little baby steps in yeah. recovery. I was telling people that you initially started calling it that night your Harry. Yeah. You finally had your Harry. I had a Harry. Yeah. Um, and he was actually laughing because a uh, heart attack killed Rick James. And I think I heard him say... Why would you laugh about something like that? Well, he was thinking about your heart attack. I could have been the super freak. Super freak game. Actually, you were at the time. Uh, Fez, would it be helpful if I do stuff to help you with this to make sure that your uh, your heart is stronger and just try to startle you every once in a while where, you know, I'll just drop a symbol behind you or scream in your face? I, I don't know if that would be good. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'd have to check that out. That hasn't shown up in any sort of rehab <laughs> you know what? pamphlet they've given me. You know what I've uh, I noticed in the last couple of days? That twice I thought I was going to be hit by a car, like a car w ran a red light while I was walking, and I, and I had to jump back, and I thought, that's something that would startle Fez. That would be... You know, because my heart was just beating right away like a jungle cat. Yeah, I'd be I'd be jumping into your arms. I know. Something like that happens. I'm go between me and Master Poe. We're going to have to make sure you have a secure route uh, in and out. So your time in the hospital. I was telling people about this. You're one of those folks. You kind of enjoyed your hospital stay, right? I actually missed the hospital. Yeah, you liked it. Yeah, I like, see, like last night when I had the pain and stuff. Yeah. And I had to take the the nitroglycerin tablet. Yeah. Which, you know, you watch cartoons all your life. You know nitroglycerin's bad. Right. And now here I am just sticking it under my tongue. But I know you're a big wrestling fan, and now you're Nitro. I can start calling you Nitro. So, yeah, it's when It's like, I really wish I was hooked up to a heart monitor right <laughs> now so I knew exactly what was happening. Fez and I, when I went in there, we would watch his heart monitor like it was a TV show. Where I'm just sitting next to him and we're just watching heart monitors all the time. Watch what happens when I try to sit up. Yeah. 
Uh, and it would just go goofy. Yeah, that is weird. But it sounds like every day you're getting a uh, a little better all the time. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, good. A little stronger each time. I'm not worried about when you're coming back. Just no, dealing with it the I way you're dealing. I haven't even gotten close to hearing that yet. Yeah. Well, we were supposed to have next week off anyway, so that works out. And then the week after, if you're up to it, that's cool. And if you're not, that's also cool. That's cool. I, yeah, I just got to. I actually have to listen to the doctors this time. Now, finally, instead of snickering and eating um, uh, whatever you want, you now will listen to the doctors. Yeah, and quit making that quacking sound every time they tell me something. I forgot. At one point, it was the first night, the night that you had had your heart attack, and you had you were just connected with, I don't know, how many IVs did they have on you? Uh, they had three different uh, needles going into my arms. Right. So that's all happened. He had the oxygen in his nose. He's hooked up. So he looks like the bionic man. All this stuff is hooked to his chest. I had like a dozen of those patches across my chest and down my leg. So he's all whacked out on morphine. I guess that was to settle you down and to stop any of the pain that you were feeling. Right. And they were asking you different questions like, do you smoke, whatever. And when they got to your drink, you're like, no, not really. Maybe six a week. And I'm just kind of looking at you because I know that's not true. And he's doing the, like he's got his fingers crossed and like he's getting away with something, feeling like, hey, I'm lying to her. Well, and I'm I, like, you're just, you know, <laughs> you're not helping like this. I've learned through this experience there's two basic instincts of man. Right. To survive and to lie. <laughs> those, those two things will still exist. <laughs> Did uh, now when it hit you? I guess it was the scariest when when you called me. I guess that had to be the scariest moment of your life, right? Yeah, because I, I that that was at the doctor's office, and I and he told me that yeah. I was having or had a heart attack. So it's just the worst sentence to hear. I know. Yeah, because you called and basically said I've either had or I'm having a heart attack right now, and I didn't even tell you this, but even after I got you to the hospital. I had a feeling that those people were going to say to me, no, that other doctor is an idiot. It's just Fez, you know, all amped up again, just worrying. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's very, you know, I've had things said to me over my life, you know, you're overweight. Mm -hmm. You don't dress nicely. But the, you you're smell. having a heart attack is really one of the crueler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you said that you were putting a list together. And I know that night, the night of your heart attack, you asked for a pen and paper. Yeah, and it, it continues. If someone could hand me that binder over there, <laughs> I'd appreciate it. This is stuff that you believe uh, brought all this on? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And I told because here's the thing. When something like this happens, Ronnie, mm -hmm. you really have to start doing an accounting of your life. Right. And how you're living and what you're doing. And, you know, and in doing that, you really have to see who's really to blame. Right. For, the, for a heart attack. So instead of, your thing came like this. You weren't one of those people who had the heart attack and it gave you a new appreciation for life or a spiritual awakening. Yours was just more places to focus blame? Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Uh, uh, you know, there's retribution. Yeah. This. Someone's, someone's going to have to pay for this thing was my first thought. Right. I understand. You know, so, sure. So, you know, there has to be, you know. So there's people that have to know what they did to me. Right. Almost like I need my day in court. I understand. All right, let's, uh, do you want to do it now? or are you Yeah, I can go through This that. isn't going to upset you? and. No, I think it's actually going to be therapeutic. Oh, good, all right. Just to get it, you know, literally off my chest. Okay, good. Uh, the first name I have is uh, Harry. I understand. All right. Um, second name, mm -hmm. Harry. Wow. Um, looking here on my list at the third name. Right. Harry. All right, that's three-time loser there. So yeah. that's got to be some kind of three strikes you're out. Well, I tried to put it in order of importance, you know. It's just, right. You know, you, you just, you're just laying there, and you just you got these random thoughts coming into you. Uh, next, Polly the intern. Polly the intern? Now, why Polly? Who messed up my orange juice order. Do you remember how upset I was? Uh, that was a bad day for you. By by the way, I remember, too, when they came in, because they say you also have sugar diabetes. Yeah. 
Uh, the worst thing for you is orange juice. They, they told me the very worst thing for my diabetes is that big glass of orange juice, and they said, God help us, you never had it frothy, did you? <laughs> and that's how that son of a bitch would bring it back. Uh, yeah, exactly. By the way, I don't know if this means anything, but Harry's in charge of him. So basically, even though we're out of the top three Harry's, uh, I still see Harry's fingerprints there. Yeah, I might as well have said Harry Jr. Right. Yeah, and I may have exerted myself throwing pens at him or yeah. something. We don't know yet. Yeah, I know. The tests are all still coming back. Uh, next on the list, Mikey D., who um, you may not know this, never cut me any slack. I do remember that. I do. Re I don't know if people are familiar. Yeah, I do remember that. And, you know, now Mikey is back from Aruba and has offered to come over and help you convalesce. Nice. Natalie Holloway doesn't make it out of Aruba, but he does. See if this brings back any of the... Uh... They got the wrong dumb blonde. <laughs> See if this brings back anything for you. And you never, ever got me one out of the slack! Uh, that's the man on the verge of a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my heart got cut no slack. I know that. No slack. It, you know, this whole thing, Fezzi, it's... Can you think of it more of a spiritual way? Does that help at all? I mean, for me, it would help to think the way that I'm getting through this is I'm like, it's really like God has kicked Fez in the chest. Um, that's one way to look at it. You know, that's one school of thought. Right. And But I'm going more of a, this is more of a new philosophy in, right. in cardio rehab, <laughs> of getting back at people. I understand. All right, so, so far we have the top four is Harry, Harry, Harry. And then that big dumb intern, Paul, with his frothy orange juice. And then Mikey D. Oh, yeah, Mikey D is at five. You know, he never cut me any slack. I don't. <laughs> and you never, ever cut me one out of slack. You know, that would make a great T-shirt. And it's like a broken heart, <laughs> and you never cut me one out of slack. Fezzy, please don't laugh. Your heart can't bear that. <laughs> it gets sore. Your little pea-sized heart can't bear that. I oh. like the Grinch. It was two, three sizes too small. Was it, buddy? Did they say that? Actually, it was enlarged. Like a roast beef that had been left out too long? Yeah, like a, something that had just gotten swollen. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Um, next on the list, yeah. uh, Super Agent Bob Eatman, yeah. who has still not called to apologize for this heart attack. Unbelievable that that man hasn't called you. So he has all my numbers. You know, here's what kills me. Look at the people we've heard from. Uh, Jeremy Coleman. Yeah. Uh, we've heard from Ross Reback. Everybody that we've probably ever worked with or have worked for, whatever. No matter Everybody, how we left the relationship right. either, too. You know? uh, yes. Even people that we've had, we were terrible to back in the bad old days, they called up. And some of them said this to me. You know, really, our bad relationship was more me and you, and Fez just joined your side, right? So they used this kind of, even while we were being mean to him, they still loved Fez, and I was the bad one. Um, next up, I have Eastside Dave and his drunken antics at the Notre Dame games. Oh, yeah. That's, that's I remember that was one of the last things that you were upset about, Eastside Dave starting trouble. Now, Solari could have killed me. Well, he could have killed me. Solera came up with a theory that since you he was throwing gummy bears at that drunk and you are diabetic now, that might have saved your life. Like that was a gummy bear you could have eaten. Just a, just a gummy bear from a worst heart attack. Right. So maybe it's not that he meant to save you, but perhaps he did. All right, I may move them down lower on the list, but right. not for right now. Let's go back over our top ten lists as we count down. It's Harry, 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 mm -hmm. uh, Pauly, yeah, Mikey D, up the orange juice. Bob Eatman, who still doesn't have the balls to call this guy back and check on him. No. Un unbelievable. Isn't that insane? Yeah. And uh, where are we at now? Oh, yeah, East Side, Side Dave. Dave. And his drunken antics. <laughs> and his drunken antics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next, I have uh, Bill the Intern, just for being so damn scary all the time. Yeah, he's spooky, he's weird, and he, he's, he's around here today, too. He's around every corner. Yeah, he is. You know, and it's just, the, the blinking would help. Right, okay, so that's not so much of what he did to you, 
Mm -hmm. It's just who he is and the way he is. That's just, I, I guess I could put that down under Wiki for a hazardous work environment. All right, yes, yeah, so Wiki goes down? Yeah, go ahead and put Wiki in there. By the way, Wiki was, has been fabulous about checking on you all the time. Yeah. Until yesterday. Good. Until yesterday. Well, you know, he, he's under the assumption that you get over a heart attack in, uh, in five days. So. Some people say that to me too, Fez. They're like, Hey, these things are easy now. And I'm like, I don't know. I was with him. It didn't seem all that easy. I know they hurt. Yeah, not that Wiggy was one of those people. He's been great until yeah. yesterday. Then he fell off. Uh, maybe he's out having tea with Eatman. I don't know. I don't know. Six, um, uh, six one, half a dozen of the other. Right. Yeah. Let's see. I also have here uh, the fatty pneumonia taunting in general. Hmm. But then especially that paranoid song that accuses me of making love to a cupcake. All right, I'm not familiar with that song. A lot of times when Earl's playing his music, I take my headphones off. So I really don't know that song. Yeah, it's, it's cruel. Oh, is this it? Fatty pneumonia. Before, but I really uh, feel like it crosses the line. Did and maybe you, only after the, the fact. Did you catch the line about the cupcake? No, I'm going to probably uh, check out the lyric sheet later. It's almost subliminal, but it's yeah, in there. Listen it's, for it. it. Yeah, it's small. Um, All right, that's everybody. Oh, so no. I guess, oh. No, I got a few more. It's, oh. it's therapy, Ronnie. I understand. Therapy to blame people. For your heart attack. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and generalize here and just say every retard on Roosevelt Island. Sure, I understand. Just And that's just living conditions. That's that's lifestyle. Right, I understand. And that because they freak you out and they make you weird. Yeah, and, you know, the dropping of the pants and it's just awful to live this way. I understand. Um, next up, yeah. I want to put Black Earl on the list. Really? From the Black Rock Coalition? Exactly. And his focus... His his total focus on the BRC, and not me. I understand. You know what the interesting thing is? Like maybe he would have caught this. Yeah. You know when we're half a show down, and then they go and give Earl something else to work on during the week. Yeah. So I basically I got Harry and Earl, and last night Earl's in here trying to find black rock songs all night. Yeah. Harry will be working on the Arab Rock Coalition arc. It'll just. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll just be one tune over and over by The Clash. And, of course, uh, also, Earl, uh, two demerits here um, for abandoning us at the Hard Rock on Halloween night is oh, when yeah. the pain started. That was the night of the pain, the yeah. Hard Rock show. So, um, speaking of which, yeah. the Halloween party in general, and right. Opie do making us do that extra half hour, I think. He didn't make us do that extra half hour. I, I was in pain. I don't think I probably should have, you know, done that extra time. But. Well, I mean, the thing is, he just wanted to make sure all the fans got into the building. That's all. Yeah. 
What about Anthony? Anthony's been a joy. Oh, is that just, right? Just an angel. So Opie responsible for your heart attack, but Anthony? Anthony, just a doll baby. All right. Seriously, no one, no one could have been kinder during this than Anthony. Kind of surprises that. I mean, Opie called me. I know, but it was an extra half hour. I know, but that's just a half an hour, and you were there anyway. It's just talking. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they took the stage till what, 8.45? Well, why not blame Anthony, too? Why just Opie? Anthony's been just so kind. I know. Just so overly kind. Okay. All right, so Opie... Since this happened. Opie, Opie, partially responsible. Anthony... Yeah, I think Ben tried to get Opie on stage, and he just wouldn't go. I don't know. Maybe if he knew the I, pain I was in. I do not think he was responsible for taking the the stage late, and I know he's not responsible for your heart attack. And if he was, then Anthony would share in that responsibility. Anthony, I just can't say enough nice things about, really. All right. Well, it's your heart attack. I don't want to argue with you on it. Yeah, I really shouldn't get into these kind of debates, right? I know. I don't want to be added to the list. I'm not debating you. I'm supporting you. Was Opie in charge of sound, too? No, he wasn't. That was Earl. Oh. Okay. Let's keep moving along. All right. Well, speaking of the hard rock. Oh, jeez. Uh, hard Rock Johnny. Oh, yeah. For always making sure dessert was part of the meal. You know, I begged Didn't him. did he realize he was killing me? I begged him time and time again, no more fatty foods. You I know, mean. Yeah. Uh, they ought to hang a guitar over me. Because <laughs> I, I consider the Hard Rock responsible and I may be taking action. I know. I guess we're all. I guess anybody can find themselves in sure. trouble for this one. Um. Next on my list is uh, Mark Lawrence, handicapper Mark Lawrence, <laughs> or as I call him, the cooler. He has chilled you out with his hideous bets, yeah. and, and football gambling is probably not the best thing for your heart. No, no, not at all. It, it shouldn't be happening, and you know the stress on my weekend. I know, and yeah, your weekends are more stressful than during the week. Now, I, I was proud of the Bucks for winning the Fez Watley Memorial game. That was cool. Over the uh, Redskins. And this makes it even sweeter. Uh, that crazy old man, Joe Gibbs, who has a heart as bad as yours, Fez. Yeah. Whining and bitching and kicking up dust all week, acting like the Bucks didn't beat them. Uh, when will they put him in a home? They He's actually going, I've watched this over and over, and uh, all stop missed it by six inches. Yeah, instead of getting ready for next week's game, I'll be the I'll be crazy Howard Hughes and just watch this over and over again in my room. <laughs> he is. He's like crazy old Howard Hughes. With Naked and drinking milk. Here, here's what gets to me. You're playing a hideous team like the uh, the Bucks. You're up by seven points with two minutes. The fact that your defense can't hold them is not the problem. Yeah. You're crying about the PAT. It's it's a man with a rod in his neck named Mike Al <laughs> Alstott. Who you couldn't stop. I finally feel happy the first time all week. I love when you're bitchy. Uh, it's maybe, like a dream. I'm feeling better, I guess. It's like a bitchy little dream for me. Um, next up was uh, Billy Staples. Oh, yeah. And his lack of support for the troops. Right, I remember that. Where he said the real problem with this country is that we have troops defending. Yeah. Yeah. And... I, uh, I actually wish I could have talked to him yesterday about his daughter's wedding. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't seen a wedding that bad since Kill Bill. <laughs> so you had lines you could be doing. Oh. You had lines you could be doing, but you're too sick. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted him to walk down the aisle, but they didn't think he could make the first 12 steps. <laughs> he hasn't made 12 steps yet. I've been there with him a few times. He'll do four or five. It's four or five, then a drink. Four, another four or five, another drink. The song for the father-daughter dance was "Daddy, Don't You Drink So Fast." <laughs> you're riffing. Yeah. What you're doing? Yeah. I. Yeah. Uh, that. It hurts when you miss out on those kind of things. I know. If it means That's anything. That's pneumonia all over again. <laughs> if it means anything to you, he went home feeling bad yesterday. Lynn Austin left in tears. BL was screaming, "She'll never be back to New York." It was the way you would have wanted it. I know. It's all the good stuff. I know. Um, I had Billy and his lack of support for the troops. Right. Uh, next, I had Blowhard. All right. And his lack of support for the black man and his music. <laughs> well, that all changes this uh, Saturday night. 
You all right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, I just, every now and then I just got to take a breath. Yeah, well, that's, you should probably do that all the time. You should yeah, true. Breath. Yeah. Just a deeper one. Yeah. You want to breathe all the time. Yeah. Um, should I continue with the list? Yeah, sure, as long okay. as you as long as long you want to, unless you're too weary. I didn't realize it was so long. I'm missing page five. <laughs> okay, I found it. Um, Mikey boy. Right. Who really hasn't had time for me since the new baby came. I noticed that. Yeah. Mikey boy responsible. Um, the commercialization of Christmas. Right, I know that's bad. Yeah, that, yeah. that gets me every year, really. I feel like you're nitpicking now. Yeah, um, Polo. Oh, sure, I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah, why, God, why did he force his wife into two abortions? Why? That's been weighing heavy on your heart? Uh, when you get visited in the night in your dreams by two unborn fetuses with Paulo's face? Fez, I don't want to correct you, but that's feet eye. Oh, okay. When it's plural feet. like that. <laughs> feet. So, yeah, it's just kind of haunting. I understand. Um, let's see. Crazy Jen. Right. And her relentless pursuit of reality television. You know, no matter what the cost to other people, Ronnie. I've got to tell you that story sometime because she was here in town on Sunday. And because my chick went to help you go home, right? my chick had promised Crazy Jen to take her uptown to try out for this thing. And then I got stuck into it. So I missed the beginning of the game because of Crazy Jen and Pickles were in New York. A horrible person. Yeah, She's just, just a horrible, horrible person with her own dreams and goals that, you know, everyone else gets shoved into coordinary care right. because she, of. She doesn't care how many hearts she leaves behind. Exactly. Scarred and blocked. Fez, this picture on the front of uh, ronfez.net, the picture of you looking out the window at Manhattan, was that actually taken at your house? or? Yeah, I believe I saw a flash go off. Or is that one of those things where they, they just add animation to the regular film? Yeah, it's like those commercials that I don't like. Right. Where they animate the guy, the real life guy's face over. Yeah. Scary. Yeah, I know, buddy. Like a suspect rendering or whatever they call that. I know. I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. You're sick. You've been through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next on the list, uh, okay. Pat Battle. Pat Battle did no. nothing to you. I know, but I just wanted to say it. Say it again, then. Pat Battle. Make you feel better? Yeah, it does. All right, one more time. Funny name. Yeah. Pat Battle. All right, there you go. Um, let's see here. So I go through this. Yeah. Uh, Pete, the intern, ONA's intern. Oh, yeah. For really laying into me on Halloween when I didn't know his name. After probably post-heart attack. Yeah, true. I was already in pain at that point. And then that was also uh, Opie and Anthony making you stay out uh, an extra half hour. Oh, well, Opie. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Opie. But you're not blaming Anthony at all? No, you can't blame Anthony, Ronnie. You, you know, just adorable is yeah. the word, you know? I know. Just so nice. Fond of him, are you? But just the sweetest. Yeah. I don't know if there's a better soul walking the earth. Well, it's nice of you. Yeah. So, you know, to have it, I'm having a heart attack. Right. And there's Pete the intern screaming in my fat heart attack face what that I don't know his name. Yeah. Well, I then, mean, what if I had had the nurses at the hospital doing that, if I couldn't remember every little nurse's name? I'm going to tell you the truth. I still don't know Pete. I don't know one from the other. He's he's one of the tall ones. Mm. He'll get drunk. He'll tell you his name. You don't <laughs> have to worry about learning it. He'll tell you. Right. Um... Next up, I have, uh, again, Polly the intern. Again? Again. And his tense situation with Master Poe. Oh, yeah, that has been tense. If it means you, uh, anything, though, he's still under Master Poe's care. Oh, perfect. He needs that kind of training. Right, he does. Yeah. It should turn him into a warrior. Yeah, I think that was my last show. Yeah, it, it was. And that was the show that you did... Kind of while you were having a heart attack, huh? Yeah, they think I, I had it like that night, Wednesday night during the night. And then I came in and did that show. Wow. That's weird. Because I, I just said to myself, you know, I don't think it's a heart attack, but, you know, if it is, I can't let Harry beat me. I, right. I can't let Harry beat me. He's the top three right now. Oh, yeah, uh, on the blame list. 
Although I think now that he found out, he's going to be a gentleman and do the right thing. And stop just treating us as a day job and vacuuming money out of here. That would be great. That yeah. would really be helpful. Right. He might make a statement after the show. Oh, nice. Uh, next on my list, uh, the death of Nipsey Russell. All right. Now, you you know, I, I mean, uh, we were all were affected, and, you know, I don't know if I blame that on a heart attack. Well, yeah, I, just, I guess I just took it harder than I thought I did. I know. Well, he was old, and I know he was loved. Yeah. Well, you know how I love game shows. He was TV's uh, Poet Laureate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Fez, I, you've gone really far. I know you've got a lot more to do, but I want you to rest a little. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, right now, the only th- other thing I want to mention is yeah. I forgot we had to do that extra hour after the O&A anniversary party. I forgot we stayed till midnight, so yeah. Opie didn't do me any favors with that either. Uh, all right, but again... I don't see how you would just put it on Opie, and who has done nothing but checked on you and mm-hmm. tell me anything that you need and the love he has for you. And again, he shares well, that. Well, you know he's motivated. Right. You he, know he's career oriented. Right. But he shares that responsibility with Anthony. Yeah. Anthony, I'm sure, would have been willing to wrap it up at 11 when we were supposed to. See, I just feel like you're favoring one over the other. It's not fair. No, I don't. I'm just, you know, I have to, you know, I have the medical evidence in front of me here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your heart attack. Yeah. All right, buddy. Okay. I'm going to uh, let you go, and you're going to get some more rest? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go back to bed right now. It'll be kind of cool to have your heart checked after this and see if, you know, if it affected you in any way. Yeah, just to see. I bet, you know, I bet it grew an extra artery, just oh. kind of getting some of this out there. All right, I, I want you I don't to, know if that would be good or not. I don't think it is. I want you to take a nap, and we'll talk to you later, and maybe we'll give you a call tomorrow, all right? Sounds good. All right, and then you're off next week, and yep. so you got plenty of off time in front of you. Yeah, to add to this list. By the way, you will have to make it up, so we will be doing double shifts the day you come back. So yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to help. Yeah. Uh, and like that double shift we did at the Hard Rock. Okay. Remember that yeah, Halloween well, night? Well, Opie and Anthony did everything they could to come out on time. I, well, know, I know Aunt did. I, stop. I know you feel that way, but we're go- I'm going to talk to you soon, okay, buddy? All right. All right, there he goes. All right. Bye-bye. There he goes.